Good afternoon and welcome to Story Hour at Book and Puppet Company here on beautiful Easton Center Square. It's kind of a, a rainy day, so I'm just doing it right here in the doorway. And we're going to be reading One Minute Till Bedtime, 60 second poems to send you off to sleep. I know it's not bedtime, but still there are very good poems in this book. And it's poetry month, so we're reading poems all month. And here you can see the moon falling asleep because of all the very good poems. The Road to Morning. Of all the roads that roam the night, curving left and swerving right, none can twist itself so tight as the zigzag road to what morning. For many a moon this road has swirled and whirled and wound around the world, and many a kid has spun and twirled, lost on the road to morning. It's a dizzy road for sure, but then it always gets you home again. That was by Kurt Cyrus. It looks like there's toast when you wake up in the morning. <laughs> toast is popping up out of the road. Was that 60 seconds? I think it was a pretty good 60 second poem. Remember, these are all supposed to be like 60 seconds. Okay, here comes one that's very weird. My horse is floating in the air. That's the title of it. My horse is floating in the air above the tallest trees while I relax upon his back and feel the morning breeze. I don't know what his secret is, but I am glad, of course, to be the one who gets to ride the only floating horse. That's by Jack Perlotsky. Okay, here comes the big parade. A centipede sat by the side of the road. Along came a turtle, along came a toad. The turtle was singing a rock and roll song. The toad did a flip as she boogied along. And the centipede danced in a centipede way. He wiggled his hips and he cried, hip, hooray! Hip, hooray! Okay, this one's called All at Once, and it's by John Cheska. Whoa, look what's happened to this kid. This is extremely bad. I think it's like, ah! All at once upon a time, Goldilocks called on the three little pigs. The troll found the three bears' porridge too hot, too cold, and just awful. And the wolf hoofed and puffed the three billy, goat gro three billy goats right off the bridge. Hansel climbed the beanstalk. Jack ate the pea. The princess met all seven dwarves. The frog kissed the shoemaker. The elves scrambled the golden egg. And Beauty took off with Rumpelstiltskin. Midnight struck the clock. The fairy godmother waved her magic wand, transforming the ugly duckling into stone soup. And everyone lived oddly ever after. Ugh. Okay, next one is called Poems Can Be Silly by Ken Nesbitt. Poems can be silly. Ted. Poems can be serious. Some are clear and simple, while others are mysterious. Here's Ted. Some of them are rhyming, though some of them are not. Some will tell a story, and some will share a thought. Some will paint a picture to keep inside your mind. But all of them are treasures, so let's see what we can find. Let's see what we can find in this book, because there's more pages of this book of poems. Okay, here comes dinner time. My father tells me that it's rude to play with all my dinner food. Too bad for dad. I cannot hear. I have a carrot in each ear. See, if you have a carrot in your ear, you can't hear your dad. Okay, this one called Friends on the Menu. I'm gonna eat Henry. I'm going to eat Phil. 
I'm going to eat Debbie. I'm going to eat Jill. I'm going to eat Tommy and Sue. No surprise. Is it weird that I like to name all my french fries? Do you name your food? Okay, this one's called To Market, To Market. Mommy will squeeze a tomato, an apple, peach, and pear while I sit high in the grocery cart and squeeze my teddy bear. Hey, there's a jumping broccoli. Hey, look, there! everybody's going, look, this tomato is pushing this broccoli up on this carrot seesaw. One, two, three, four. Now this one's called My Uncle Joe. My Uncle Joe came to our house on Saturdays. In leather, he'd park his Harley on the curb in ice cold New York weather. His cheeks, they glowed a ruddy hue. My father's younger brother, they both looked like my grandpa Lou, three versions of each other. But Uncle Joe did wild things while Daddy just read fiction. I loved it when he raced his wheels. They made such red-hot friction. And if I coaxed him long enough, pleaded, begged, and sighed, my Uncle Joe would laugh and go and take me for a ride. Each day at the zoo is always new. Today, I fed a giraffe at the zoo. With green leaves clutched in my hand, I reached up, 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 until I met a blue tongue, sweet eyes, funny horns, and a long, long, long neck. Today, I fed a giraffe at the zoo, but tomorrow I might feed a kangaroo. That was by Margarita Engel. Okay, this is Lamb Said Mew. Hey, that's weird. Horse said knee. Cow said moo. Dog said woof. Lamb said mew. Cat said, lamb, this will not do. Lambs say bye. Cats say mew. Wren said, chirp. Owl said, whoo. Chick said, peep. Lamb said, mew. Cat said, lamb, this will not do. I don't like ba, said lamb, would you? Snake said, hiss. Dove said, whoo. Hen said, cluck. Lamb said, mew. Cat said, lamb, this will not do. You must say ba. Lamb said, mew. By David L. Harrison. Oh, will lamb ever stop it? I don't think so. I think that's... He's just going to say what he wants to say. Okay, next we're going to read Our Kittens. One by one, our kittens found homes till only one kitten had nowhere to go. One by one, they all got new names, new families, new blankets, new toys. One by one, our kittens found homes till only one kitten was left in the box. One by one, they left purring in cars, snuggled in laps of new girls and boys. One by one, we kissed them goodbye. We waved as their cars drove them far, far away. We felt happy and sad at the very same time. And we let the last kitten stay. That's by Amy Ludwig Vanderwater. Did you want to leave a kitten to stay? You can keep the last kitten. Okay, here comes running. Can you run? I run with my dog, jump plump with my dog. We race and both win, so we do it again. He zigzags, I trip, we tangle and slip. We roll in the grass, we get up and dash. We flurry, we fly, zip, flip.
flash through the sky. We're the daisies, the bees. We're the blue jays, the trees. We're the shout in the sun when my dog and I run. That one's by Kate Coombs. Okay, here comes all in a day's work. Picked an apple, chased a frog, did my homework, pet a dog, fed the goldfish, read a book, played outside, learned to cook, drew a picture, found a nest. Now I guess it's time to rest. That's by Timothy Totcher. The Dandelion. I caught a soft silk dandelion gently in my hands, then blew a kiss and secret wish, for when it came to land, on the wind I watched it soar, the dandelion that didn't roar, across the trees and clear blue sky, it took my wish and said, goodbye, goodbye. That was by Mark Carthew. Okay, here comes wind. Can you make the wind? Leaf stealer, flag flapper, hat snatcher, branch snapper, sea stirrer, wave whipper, surf raising sail ripper, door slammer, window batterer, house shaker, peace shatterer. That's by John Foster. This dog is having a hard time holding on in that wind. Okay, here comes a hard rain. Look, the words are sideways. This rain is coming down very hard on this house. Tonight the rain is falling hard. It's washed the colors from our yard. It's scrubbed the paint right off our house. It's rinsed the fur right off a mouse. The rain's turned fields to huge mud pies. It's cleaned the stars up in the skies. Rivers run and try to hide. Tonight, I think I'll stay inside. That was by Greg Pincus. This rain is coming down very hard, so you should definitely stay inside. Okay, this one's called Starry. Hey, the starry night time and its starry plain. Starry is the silence of its starry train. Starry are the curtains. Starry wall and doors. Starry falls the starlight on my starry floor. Hey, the starry nighttime and its starry glow. Starry is the window with the starry show. Starry are the colors. Starry blue and red. Starry falls the starlight on my starry bed. That's by John Rice. It looks like salt to me. Okay, here comes. Toasty Warmy Jammies by Lorianne Grover. My toes wiggle into whispery tappity footies. My knees hide inside stretchy squeezy legs. My bum dances in the wiggly waggly rump. My arms flap in fleecy fuzzy sleeves. My belly rounds the long stickety zipper. My chin taps the cool snippety snap. Toasty, warm jammies snuggle me to drifty, dreamy sleep. That's by Lori Ann Grover. Okay, here comes bedtime on 7th Avenue. Big old dog sighs and ties down. Sorry, that's lies. Big old dog sighs and lies down. Spider closes her many eyes. In the vacant lot, weeds lean against each other. Even graffiti opens its loud neon mouth and yawns. That's by Ron Kirchie. Okay, here comes Sleepless. Oh, sometimes that could happen. I don't feel sleepy, Lily whined. I can't turn off my busy mind. My favorite show is on TV. My best friend sent a text to me. I have to study for a test. I cannot sleep. I'm feeling stressed. I need to floss. My mouth tastes yucky. I have to find my rubber ducky. My bed sheets don't smell clean tonight. I think I felt a bed bug bite. My room's too cold. Turn up the heat. 
I need wool socks upon my feet. You say, the TV's broke tonight? My cell phone isn't working right? I'm feeling tired. Turn off the light. And that's going to be the end of our reading today from One Minute Till Bedtime, 60 Second Poems to Send You Off to Sleep, selected by Ken Nesbitt, art by Christoph Neiman. You can get this for 20% off if you click the link in the, in the uh, Facebook comment. And we'll be reading more of this book as Poetry Month goes on. So see you next time. Bye!